Hey guys, Techno Mitchell with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset and delete everything on your iPhone. Now, there's something you want to do if you were trading in, selling, or giving away your iPhone. So, all of your information is completely deleted and ready for the next person to use. Now, before you do, do a factory reset. If you want to keep a copy of your data like photos, videos, apps, you need to do a backup. You can do it through iCloud by going into your settings, clicking on your Apple ID account here, clicking on iCloud and find iCloud backup. And you can click on backup now and it will back up your data on the iCloud. Now, if you don't have enough storage on your iCloud, you can also do a backup on your newer MacBook with the Finder or if you have an older MacBook or a PC or a laptop, just simply use iTunes, which you can download for free and follow the step on it. We made a video on that. So we're going to check that out or to back it up. You can do that. And even better, if you can restore it to a new device, if you're moving to it, so you can verify that all of your information has been removed there before you do delete everything. And once you're ready, all you do is simply go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general, and then scroll all the way down where you see transfer, reset iPhone, click on that. And then you'll see the option to erase all content and setting at the bottom here. Once I click on it, right, it's going to give us the option to erase this iPhone, completely signing out our Apple ID account, removing our Apple ID, and also remove the activation lock so the next person can use it. Now hit continue. And once you do that, it's going to try to do a backup if you didn't back it up. And then it's going to do what's known here. As you can see here, it's going to ask you for your Apple ID password, and you need to enter your Apple ID per password for the account that's signed in with that email. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my Apple ID password now. Now, once you enter your Apple ID password, simply click on turn off right here and wait briefly for it to remove your account. And it's going to give you this message where it's going to ask you, are you really sure that you want to erase everything? Because everything will be erased and cannot be undone. And that's why you need to do a backup if you want to keep a copy of your data as a final warning. Once you're ready, just simply click on erase and the process will begin. Now you'll see the Apple logo appear with this loading bar. Now you want to wait till you get to the hello screen. This Apple bar and the loading menu will pop up a couple times, which means it's just going through the process, especially if you have a lot of data, it'll need to go through and delete everything. Generally, it takes about three to five minutes, sometimes even less, sometimes even longer, depending on how much information you had that needs to get erased. During this process, you want to see it that it's completely going through and deleting everything and gets to the hello screen, which I will show you. And if you want to skip forward to that as well, you can, but that's the hello screen. Initially, when you uh, set up the new iPhone that you get to, when you turn it off in the very first time, that's the menu we're going to be looking for. And another uh, tip for you guys is that make sure your phone is at least uh, charging or at least a 50% or more charge during this process. You do not want it to die during that process because it will not complete properly. So make sure it's connected to a charger or again has at least 50% or more charge in order to successfully uh, delete all of your information. As you can see here, it's still has the Apple logo here loading here. So I'm going to be a little bit patient while it goes through so we can see the whole process and see in real time how long it takes to do a factory reset successfully. And we should be done. It looks like, oh, righty, it looks like we are done. As you can see here, this is the hello screen I mentioned. If you can see here, let me just show you. Once you're back on, you'll see that hello screen that comes up. And then if I swipe up, it gives me the option to set it up like if I were to buy a brand new iPhone for the very first time. That means the phone is factory reset successfully, ready to go to be traded in sold or give it away to the next person. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please do consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.